Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we have allow one function call as a lead code question. So this is a pretty interesting problem as it talks about higher order functions. So till now you have seen that a function can be passed inside another function or it can be stored uh, as a variable and later used whenever it's needed. But higher order functions are the functions that take other function as argument or return function as their result. Something that you can see on this image itself, right? It takes an input and process it and gives a function in the return value similarly uh, it takes a function and returns some output which could be a, another function or something it's totally fine with that so these are the pretty uh, common and extremely important concepts in javascript and a, this is also a key concept in functional programming so if you are coming to javascript you should be really familiar with all of these concepts i'll talk more than in a separate video let's jump to the question directly so you are given a function fn, you have to return a new function that is identical to the original function except that it ensure fn is called at most once. Wow, that's interesting, right? The first time the return function is called, it should return the same result as fn, but ev for every subsequent calls, it should return undefined. That's interesting, right? Uh, so we are given any function fn, for example, let's take this is a function which is just summing up all the arguments we are getting, right? So whenever you are calling that function, by, uh, so let's, uh, the, what lead code is doing, it's just calling that function with f, uh, fn, whatever we are going to define on line number phi. So our goal is to wrap it in some way that the first call only will return the answer correctly. For the rest call, it should always return undefined. No matter how many times you are calling it later, it should always return undefined, right? I hope you get that part. If not, I'll explain uh, more as we go forward. But this is the whole question. We have to do some magic inside this one. So whenever we are getting this fn or something here, it should not be called more than once. Before jumping to the question, I'll explain two, three more things. So this fn, right, we will be getting it inside here because this is the first argument of once, right? So now this function is uh, available inside fn. I hope that is clear about let's talk about ARGS right what is dot 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 ARGS so this is rest parameter we are going to use so this will hold all the values of ABC or whatever arguments we are getting so if it's ABC comma D comma E comma F so this ARGS will hold all the values as it is right so this is what these two things are arguments so uh, let's talk about these also so our first parameter is function so that is what it means fn is supposed to be a function and the return type is of this whole thing is function itself so this is the whole stage for the function let's start coding now we are supposed to return a function so that is our that is what we are doing on line number nine we are using the same fn and all the arguments we have received we are just passing it back to the parent right this is what we are supposed to do we are just uh, we are supposed to use the same function as an argument it's written here right now let's write some logic so let's let's write a logic to be uh, used um, we will just use a local variable is called this is again a closure sort of thing right so this whole once right because it in instantiated here itself so it will hold all the values uh, all the local variables throughout throughout its life lifespan so let's declare a variable here is called now we have to write a custom logic which says that this should be returned only once as, sim as simple as that right what we will do we will create some space and put a if else logic that means if the function is called if it's true then only it will here it will come here us i mean uh, if it's true mean the whole condition is true right we are using a negation so the, for the first time the value is false like we haven't called it yet so this will come here and it will return uh, it will become true because of a negation and it will come inside the loop when it comes inside the loop what we will simply do we will make it is called as true and forever it will be true now so for this next time whenever it comes the value is true we will negate it so it will not go inside this if else if condition and the re default return will be undefined so this is how it works um, yeah this is how it works as simple as that i hope it is clear uh, i'll just explain once again so for the first time you are calling the this once function it will be is the is called will be false right 
what does that mean uh, that the first iteration will not make it an, any change whenever the you, whenever the code execution goes here in the if condition it will be true because negation of false is true it will come inside we will change this variable is true and then just return the function for the second time since this is true now we, we made the change on line number 10 it will come in the if condition it will say that the negation of true is false it will not go inside and it will simply return undefined this is the whole question you will use the same concept in a lot of different places but for now uh, this is what we have to do i hope the question is clear and the solution makes sense to you now if you like it please subscribe and follow for more if you have any question you can join my discord channel and drop your uh, drop your questions there i'll be i'll be i'll be making sure that i'll answer to them thank you